Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shannon Plays. Welcome back to the lands of Tunis, where I've been contemplating what we should do at the moment. I got two avenues of thought. One, we stick it out. We hold, hang in there as long as possible. And we try to do some damage. The problem is, by doing that, we leave, we leave ourselves open to an attack from the Ottomans. The Ottomans can peace out any day they want to. And they could just turn and attack us. And if they turn and attack us, we are pretty much defenseless. So it might make more sense just to peace out of both of these wars and just move on. If we rival the Ottomans, we might be able to get someone like Austria, maybe, to uh, enter an alliance. And then if the Ottomans declare on us, which they probably would for southern Greece, then we'll have a strong ally. I mean, the Austrians are not weak. They are, uh, yeah, 50,000 troops. It's something. And they're two techs ahead of the Ottomans, so that helps. Russia as well hates the Ottomans, and he might even unrival us if we rival the Ottomans. It's just, oof. This war with Spain was supposed to be something glorious, and instead it's turned into a fucking albatross. You know, we can't get away from it. It's just... Oh, it's, it's horrible. I would love to continue the war, because I feel that we can definitely win this war. I wanted to take Provence as a vassal. I don't see that happening. I see us maybe white-piecing Savoy and Provence, or maybe just giving some trade power to Spain. I don't see us getting out of this in a good fashion. So why don't we go ahead and take Hejaz's trade power, and I'll sell it to Spain for peace. God, I hate to do that. <sighs> I just hate to do that. Other option is we could cancel out uh, 25 war scores simply by dropping an army on Genoa, letting Genoa, see or, I'm sorry, Genoa, Girona, letting Girona siege, and then we'll be at like zero war score, and there might just be white peace time. Oh man. These options are not good. Because we still have a lot of rebels to kill. There's going to be more rebels. I mean, we're at national revolt risk of 5.8. There's going to be more rebels. We still have to go kill these Funj nationalists down here. Ah, balls. So many balls. I hate to do this. I feel like... If it wasn't for the Ottomans declaring that war on Venice... And if it wasn't for that pop-up not telling me about France is going to join, and if it wasn't for my navies being out of position when France did join, we'd be fine. We'd be perfectly fine. France wasn't putting any troops on our land. We killed that navy. Uh, Venice wasn't doing anything to us. It was simply a string of bad events happening in a way that was somewhat predictable, but I didn't see it coming. The pop-up for the call to war did not mention France. Oh, crap. Just a lot of bad things happening. Wow, Spain's at 11 exhaustion. Does that, does that cause any revolt risk? No. At 11 war exhaustion, Spain has negative five and a half revolt risk everywhere. That makes perfect sense. He has perfect legitimacy, positive stability. He's built core houses everywhere. National defense minus five. I don't know what that means. And huge tolerance of negative six. All right, so... I think going over there, sailing over and taking Girona is a good choice. Let's do that before we make any further decisions. Because it'll be mountains, so we can defend in the mountains, no problem. Probably just ignore this army down here in Morocco. Let him fight my rebels if he wants to. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do. Ramadan! Yeah, I like Ramadan. Let's get some piety. Intercolonial trade. Uh, liberty desire, gain mercantilism, or lose mercantilism. What's his liberty desire at? Should be low. Yeah, nine percent. That's fine. I like I like mercantilism. Oh, Ottomans, you're such a douche. 
Wow, we're only getting 16 ducats out of Sevilla. Just a bit ago, we were getting 26 ducats, and I was complaining about getting 26 ducats because we didn't have Andalusia province. Wow. It's so bad. It's so bad. When is our truce up with Portugal? Five years. Oh, we have tons of time. So if we peace out Spain, we can still go attack Portugal. We have to fabricate on Lisbon. We still can go attack Portugal. Yeah, okay. That'll be, you know... What's the... I didn't even see his peace offer. That'll be a consolation prize, I guess, is just getting Lisbon. Oh, our marriage with the Ottomans is over. So he's free to attack us now. Negative 180 once your provinces. That's amazing. The mission makes it more important to him, I guess. Any chance we can hurry these sieges along? No? Yep, Ottomans have cancelled military access, which means... Well, it means he's ready to attack. It means he won't take any stab hits for attacking. Man, if only Russia didn't rival us, we could totally be good allies here. But he did rival us. Okay, we got our transports built, I think. Why are they not merged? I don't know. I got a trade ship as well. Here, merge those. And go patrol Se Sevilla. If I could find it. There it is. Keeps moving around. That's what she says. So where's the other two ships building? I ordered ten ships. There's other over here. Okay, that's fine. Keep building. Losing... About 10 ducats a month. Ouch. Oh, what's this? Uh, Norway. Norway's invading the Netherlands colonies. That's hilarious. Okay. Why not? And we could go start another colony. I might as well. Just go start another colony. Whatever. It's not that expensive. It really isn't. Grenada just keeps... I wish I could tell him to not build any troops. This is something that Paradox needs to do. They need to allow you to tell your vassals to not build troops. Because he's just losing me war score all the time. Yep. Just got crushed. More war score down the drain. Alright, there goes Tafalalt. So let's get you to uh, Girona. Is that 15 transports? It is. Okay. That's not bad. I'd prefer like 25 transports for an army of 25, but whatever. Rebels supporting Carthage. They're supporting the Pretender. Uh-oh. 24 rebels in Carthage. That's pretty bad for us. We lost Tegali as a claim. I don't care. I do care about the rebels in Carthage, though, so let's let's just walk there, and then we'll pick up our troops from Carthage. That's fine. Oh shit! And there's rebels in my vassals' land. That's that's not good. That is not good. Wow. I got a free diplomat, though. Can I impress anyone? Oh, now Russia says I'm a great power. Come on. These guys keep changing their minds about whether I am or am not a great power. I mean. I'm in so much trouble right now. I'm not a great power right now. Come on. Don't see me like that. What have I ever done to you guys? I need to kill these rebels for my vassal because he won't. He won't kill them. Alright, I'm going to build another fleet. What do I need? Probably just more trade ships. No, no, no. Not one ship. A fleet. Wow. 
Wow, look at Spain just failing on his sieges. He must feel terrible. He's got a level 2 siege guy, lots of cannons, and he just keeps failing the sieges. Like, that's his shtick. Alright, I'm going to see if I can tell Aragon to try to siege Girona. Because that's our target. If we get it, we can probably white piece. Oh, there's Spain with the white piece. Done. I hate to do it, but done. He's at 10 exhaustion. Yeah. Okay. The war with Spain is over. That means we're going to get a little more income because we now have Andalusia back. We need to go unseach Porto. Uh, yeah, build a couple troops. Let's go unseach Porto. Is it a level 2 or level 3? Level 2. Okay. Okay. Let's go unseach Tangier. There we go. Actually, we can probably attack that army. Yes, we can. Okay, Let's do that. I'm hoping France and Spain will have a war. That would be perfect. Faction requests financial aid. Gain legitimacy. 400 ducats. Well, the only other choice is to lose legitimacy. And guess what? I want the civil war to end, so I'm going to spend money I don't have. Jeez. Oh, okay, let them spawn. Hello. Mamluks want white peace. Okay. Okay, we're finally out of the war, and the Ottomans hate us a lot. I'm going to go ahead and rival the Ottomans. I think that's fair. Yeah. Did that not work? Oh, I have to select it here. There we go. Okay, we've rivaled the Ottomans. That should mean we're going to get bonus relations with everyone else who hates them. And these guys should start working towards relationship with us. What scares me is the Ottomans are primed to get an alliance with France. I would not be surprised if the Ottomans allied France right now, because they share two rivals. Or they will. We'll see how it goes. Oh, bonus. We're going to get there before they finish the siege. Wow, we got lucky. Okay, Carthage. Move on. 73 legitimacy. Could be worse. Oh, the Mamluks collapsed. Interesting. Hello, Syria. I'll probably take an alliance with Syria. Mm. Yeah. I'll probably take an alliance with Syria. We'll form a little alliance in this region. Funj nationalists. I think they'll disappear because Funj already spawned. Yep, there they go. Well, that worked out well for us. I can just go eat him whenever I want. So that's one rebel stack down. I'll probably get some Funj Patriots. Nubian Patriots, whatever. Okay. Let's get out of Bohemia. Also, the Papal States collapsed, so he lost Siena, unfortunately. And I can't really declare war on that, because that's the Empire. Whatever. I, sh I wasn't paying attention. That's my bad. Another trade ship. So now that we have Andalusia back, we're making a little more cash. Not tons, but a little more. Man, Portugal's trade bonuses are amazing. Yeah. Are we embargoing Spain? Uh, no, we're not. Why not? 
Why are we not embargoing our rivals? What? I don't know. Okay, Syria, Alliance, go. Done. Mamluks would probably peacefully vassalize if we just get an alliance. So that's probably what we'll do. I really don't need wars right now. Alright, go kick some ass. Man, this whole campaign just went down the shitter. As soon as we got this guy... No, you know what it was? It was when we started getting those two heirs at the same time. Because the second heir also had... Um, no, the first heir had strong, strong claim, but the second heir had weak claim. And I don't know why. I don't know why we're getting two heirs at the same time. It happened to us, what, three times in a row? And every single time, the second heir was weak claim. And you don't get to choose which heir you get. You always get the weak claim guy. So that's just a very awkward bug. I don't really know how to deal with that bug. It, it sucks. Surprisingly, this guy is still alive at 50. Wow. Hang in there, bro. But yeah, this, this guy, with zero legitimacy and zero military strength, is what zero military skill, is what caused us to have all these problems. Okay, what other rebels can I kill? These guys, they gotta go. Yep, okay. But you can walk there, right? Yeah. These troops still aren't done. Waddle your ass down here. I'm going to go get relations up with the Mamluks, see if we can get an alliance there. And I think Russia is going to be our bestest buddy as we push forward. Austria as well, but it looks like that's... Oh, he's still got that huge aggressive expansion problem. Ottomans are winning their war. Is it battles or what? Oh, it's the war target of Cyprus. They're actually losing the battles, and hopefully France will... Put a beat down on them. Well, no, France can go through Savoy and Venice. Yeah, they should be able to get there. Access to Rentua. Yeah, France can get to the Ottomans for sure. For true. Go kill that rebel stack. And start sieging this guy. Ah, oh, jeez. Had to white piece both those wars. That's just... And we lost our only ally. I mean, that, that could not have gone any worse for us. Well, it, I mean, it could have gone worse. Wow. So let's go fabricate on Lisbon, because I want that. Lisboa is going to be a huge bonus to our trade. Oh, Slim Sin Nationalist just spawned. Wait, how are they at 100% and not spawning? There we go. Strange. Down here, really? Okay, Slim Sin Nationalist spawned in Morocco for some reason. I don't know. But okay.
Oh, and we did lose our Defender of the Faith guy. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, we'll probably just peacefully vassalize all of these guys, because it looks like we don't have any other option. And they all will do it. If we get our strength up, our soldiers, and our... Well, not these guys. Anyone who's not Coptic. Yeah. Man, what a shame, though. Alright, let's put the speed up. And just let the rebels spawn a little faster. Coastal desert. Alright, let's go kick his teeth in. And then what? And just come back and siege, I guess. I want to see France over here sieging. That's what I want to see. Oh, they can't. That's right. They can't get through Austria because Austria and, and France are rivals. I forgot about that. Oh, man. If only Russia would just unrival me. We could be best buddies. It'd be amazing. Bohemia wants an alliance. That's nice. All right. Where are we still building? Kabylia. Okay. Uh, can I get some more ships going? Not really. We're still losing two ducats a month. That's not that bad. Let's put you on patrol. And that might actually get our economy back under check. Only 22 ducats, though. Wow. Oh, shit. Again? 400 ducats for five legitimacy. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Goodbye, bank account. We need to pay this shit back. This is getting awful. 15 loans of over 200 ducats each. Wow. We need so much money. Seventeen loans now. Alright, come back from the Pope. And I'm gonna go transfer trade power from Syria. And the Mamluks. Well, that'll put me over my limit. But the Mamluks will vassalize, right? Yeah, you know what? Let's just get relations up first. Same thing with Shamar. Shammer? Yeah. Let's go vassalize these guys. We should probably just annex... Uh, nudged. Get them out of the way. Yeah, that's probably better. Portuguese Patriots. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Please don't spawn on Porto. Please don't spawn on the island, so that would suck. Wait, why aren't you converting? Oh, because we lost our second missionary because we're no longer Defender of the Faith. Right. Where will these spawn, these 100% Portuguese Patriots? Algarve and Coimbra. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's, like, perfect. Because they're not on any islands. <laughs> oh, jeez. That national revolt risk is so bad. Colony damaged. I don't care. I love that my colony is now colonizing. That is, there is no better thing than when your colony decides, oh, I should colonize. It's like, yeah, you fucking should colonize. All right, transports. Looks like we're gonna need you. Is this my entire army? This is so sad. You know, I can bring those guys back from the new world. Let's do that while we're waiting. So only need five ships, okay. Go pick these guys up. And let's build some more troops, because we need it. We need everything. Well, we can't really afford it. Mm, I'm on a budget. <laughs> I am on a real budget here. 
Hello. I saw the French flag and approved relations, but it wasn't France, it was just his colony. It's like, damn, that would have been amazing. Well, Ottomans have teched up. Same tech as us now. Oh shit, they got it right before I could get there. Fuck you guys. Fuck you right in the fuck hole, man. Okay. Favored faction threatens to splinter. Let them splinter. Oh man, we are almost done with the Civil War. We're at 87 legitimacy. Oh, we're so close. One more, one of the, one of the more of those events, and we got our Civil War over. Wow, finally. Fucking finally. All right, uh, walk back. Let's see if we can't catch this guy while he's alone. That'd be perfect. Well, it's been a long road, but it looks like we're going to come out of it pretty soon here. Thank goodness. Knock on wood. All that stuff. We got our claim on Lisbon. Very nice. In three years, we can attack him. He has no allies that matter. And I definitely want Lisbon. Should see about getting Venice as an ally or something. No, because then he would call us into the war. Is England actually annexing you? Yay, gain five legitimacy. Done. Civil war over. Please tell me the civil war is over. Yes! Woohoo! Okay, our troops are gaining ground. It seems that many of the rebels have lost their incentive to fight as a result of groups are uh, blah, blah, blah. Large groups are retreating. This is our chance to end the madness and restore order. Victory is ours. Gain legitimacy. Gain three stability. Oh, wow. Okay. But, and this is important now, but this does not cause my sultan to gain any military skill. So, we could have another civil war in a few years' time. Because our sultan is the same moron that caused the first civil war. You know what? Plus three stability. I like that. Still have this idiot on the throne. Still sucks at military skill. His heir's fine, but he sucks. Okay, I can finally fire this really expensive guy. So, you're fired. Oh, thank goodness. And... Should I focus military? No, I don't think we need to. We've been spending a lot of military points on random things, and it looks like we'll be okay now. Our national revolt risk is very low. And we should be on the clear for a lot of these rebels, like Greek patriots. Let me check and see if there's still any revolt risk here. There is not. So because there's zero revolt risk here, in fact, it's like negative 10, uh, this number will drop. It'll go from 90 and then start falling. Thank goodness. Wow. And all of a sudden, we're making 22 ducats a month. What an amazing difference it makes, right? Wow. Civil War is over. So it looks like we can't have it for a while. I don't know why I can't mouse over this one. But it looks like we can't have it for a while. Maybe it's just because we're at positive 3 stability. I don't know. Man, that's nice. It's nice to not have... Uh, Internal conflict, civil war, giant wars all the time. Whew. 
Oh wow, this guy's sieging so fast. He doesn't even have any siege skill, but he's sieging super quickly anyway. Yeah, making 20 ducats a month, wow. Okay, well I tell you what, that means we need to rebuild our army and our navy, that's for sure. That's for true. Let's get our galley fleet going again. Oh, it's too expensive. Alright, well let's get some soldiers then. Okay, who can I steal? Uh, well... Most likely we'll steal these guys. So head to Alexandria. I'll meet you there. Wow, they got Coimbra already. Please don't go to Porto. They got Coimbra, like, super quick. Holy shit. One thing I don't want is I don't want these two armies to merge into a super army. That would suck. Now, I'm tempted to annex Naples or the Pope or someone just to clear up some land. Or to clear up room for, for more uh, relationships. Because I do want to take all of Arabia into vassalage. And I can, peacefully. But I don't want to have too many vassals when we do that. So maybe the ticket is to... I don't know, annex the Pope. But he still has his cores. Maybe we'll annex Naples. Are you fabricating or anything? No. All right, let's let, let the next Naples. Just get, get him off the table here. Goodbye. Twenty-five ducats a month. Not half bad. We're finally going to start repaying all these fucking loans. It's going to take us years to repay this shit. 18 loans. Most expensive one is 278 ducats. Jesus. Yeah, our revolt risk is dropping everywhere. That's fantastic. And the Ottomans are still in that war. Unfortunately, they're winning that war. I was really hoping France would get some troops down here, but it looks like since we sunk the French Navy, they're not going to be able to get any troops down there. Whoops. Whoops. Come on, Russia. Improve relations and stop rivaling me. We can be best friends, dude. Russia, France, and Austria are my three targets for alliances. England? Eh, not so much. Gain an army organizer. Who cares? Oh yeah, I can get some cheap advisors now, huh? Uh, let's start off with the military guy. And then, uh, yeah, admin guy next. Oh, good. He went to... Oh, he went to the mountains. Never mind. Okay, on the boat you go. Let's start ferrying troops up here. As many as possible, please. That's what she said. Yeah, the rebels are going away. Good. In fact, I think it's safe to start converting people again. Where are we converting right now? Madeira. Is it progressing? It is. Okay. About 2% a month. I can handle that. Yay, Tangiers. Holy shit, you got the walls busted in Haha. -ha. Damn it. And Haha -ha is where I built my embassy, so I kind of need that to stay there. I don't want Haha -ha to fall, because I'll lose my third diplomat. Fuck. Okay, well... We don't have that many choices. I guess I should drop the troops off here, though. We, we're just going to have to attack him, unfortunately. So, let's meet up here in Abda. Come on down. And I guess I'll leave a skeleton army here? No, let's just attack him. We'll go unsiege it later. Losing your um, embassy is just awful, so don't let it fall. Always know what province your embassy is in, and do not let that province fall. Let's rehire the um, administrative guy. Prestige for the win. And you know, we've reached that 
point in the show where we have to call it quits. So thanks for watching, guys. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time where we'll get rid of our rebels. Uh, we'll take some more vassals down here. And we'll try to find an ally to defend us against the Ottomans. It's probably going to be Austria because France and Russia have rivaled us. But Austria has not. So all he has to do is turn the switch and decide to improve relations. And we'll get ourselves a nice alliance. Anyway, that'll have to be next time. So I'll see you then. Have a good day.